This is an update on my Crown Vic swap project. Got a fair bit done since the last video. I've got the front part of the uh, Crown Vic cut off and I fitted the uh, uh, F100 cabin front clip on. Uh, so far everything seems to be working out pretty good. A lot of work before it can be in its final position, but this is uh, approximately what it's going to be uh, looking like once it's done. Uh, I'll just show you some details here. Um, I can't do a lot of work finalizing the fit of the cab until I get a new EGR tube. Tough to see here, but the cab is sitting right tight against the EGR tube. Uh, there is a supplier I found that makes a flexible EGR tube and uh, once I have that in place I can probably move the cab a little bit farther forward and that will help me out up front uh, get the rad support in and uh, be able to get the grill in and things like that. Uh, also too up front I think I'm just going to leave the frame as is until I can get the vehicle inspected. You can see right now there's a, a cross member in place which is sticking out too far. But uh, since in British Columbia, Canada, I can't do any welding and I suspect I can't do any cutting on the frame and still have it pass an inspection, which this truck will need. I think I'm just going to leave it as is, get the inspection done, and then I'll decide exactly what. Uh, what I want to do going forward from there. I'm also taking a, a little bit different approach in the back of the vehicle. It looks kind of goofy right now with the Crown Vic rear end on here. But my plan is to keep the entire floor of this back area, the back seat area, the tank, or hump over the tank, and into the trunk, keep that intact, and that will form the floor of the step side box, or flare side box that's going onto the truck. Uh, also, too, I've gone a little bit different from most other ones I've seen. I am going to um, be mounting the back of the truck right on top of this floor pan. And if you can see in here, the floor pan is cut off under the cab itself, but that uh, cross member that goes across uh, goes onto two cab mounts on the frame, so it's pretty sturdy right there, and I think I can just uh, build off that and have the back part of the cab mount right onto it and it'll be a good solid rear cab mount. Up front, I'm going to change the cab mounts. The original Crown Vic cab mounts were right there, you can see them. I'm going to have to build something new a little bit further back, but I don't think that will be uh, impossible to do either. And in the back here, what I'm going to do is cut off all these uh, rear quarter panels and stuff like that and, and uh, the luggage or parcel shelf in the back and then build probably a three quarter inch plywood uh, substructure that goes underneath the box itself and then there will be a wooden tonneau cover that comes flush with the top of uh, the tank leaving all this area in here and in behind the tank for storage. So that's the plan right now. We'll see if it all works out. Next step now is to uh, pull the cab off and start doing some rust repair on it. It's pretty solid, but where the front cab mounts were, that's all rusted out. A little bit of rust down in the very corner of the cab on both sides here. I'll have to fix that up. Uh, a few cracks in the metal on the back. I'll have to weld that, so that's the next job. Oh yeah, and then the um, the side steps, I'm going to have to patch that in too. The frame on the Crown Vic is considerably wider than the frame on the truck, so I had to cut out the steps to make room for that. Actually, I thought it might sit a little bit lower, so I cut a little bit more than I had to, but that's okay, I can patch that in. So that's it for this update. Stay tuned for more.